two major rulings by the Supreme Court have just come in with big implications for LGBTQ rights and people with student loans. And those decisions, both with conservative justices in the majority, coming in the final hours before the Supreme Court breaks for the summer. News for us, Gilma Avalos in the newsroom to break down these decisions for us. Gilma. Yeah, a, a lot to get through, Adam. Minutes ago, the Supreme Court returned divided decisions on the student loan cases that it was considering, but it has effectively struck down the president's plan to forgive student loans. In the first case, it ruled the plaintiffs don't have standing, so the court would not weigh in on the merits of that case. But in the second case, the court ruled against President Biden in a 6-3 decision, and it strikes down President Joe Biden's plan to forgive give student loan debt. The program would have allowed certain borrowers to cancel up to $20,000 in debt, something estimated to cost the country $400 billion plus. Some 43 million people would have been eligible to participate. The conservative majority Supreme Court had questioned before whether the administration could authorize that relief without explicit permission from Congress. And in this case, it is determined the president's plan cannot move forward. And important to note, though, the student loan payment, loan payment process is set to kick start August. It has been put on pause during the COVID-19 pandemic, regardless of today's decision. And just before that, the Supreme Court's conservative majority ruled in favor of a Colorado web designer, Lori Smith, a Christian artist, saying that she has a right to refuse to provide services for same-sex weddings based on constitutional free speech protections. Members of the LGBTQ plus community call this a major setback. The court ruled 6-3 in favor of designer Lori Smith, despite a Colorado law that bars discrimination based on sexual orientation, race, gender, and other characteristics. And Smith had argued that the law violated her free speech rights. In her dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor called the decision, quote, reactionary exclusion, saying the court's agreement with Smith's legal argument was, quote, profoundly wrong. Her dissent reads, around the country, there has been a backlash to the movement for liberty and equality for gender and sexual minorities. And these major decisions come on the heels of the court's historic decision yesterday yesterday to end affirmative action programs at Harvard and the University of North Carolina. So again, the final rulings of the term, decisions that will have major implications. Adam. Yes, that is for sure. Gilma Avalos in the newsroom for us. Thank you, Gilma.